we have our news break confirmed. It was the 20th of July this year that we told you that Glenmark Farmer, which is of course controlled by the Saldana family, is now looking at divesting stake in its unit, Glenmark Life Sciences. Now, today, this evening, it has become official. Glenmark Farmer has said it is going to sell 75% stake in that unit to Nirma for 615 rupees a share which is lower than the last closing price of 627 rupees and 10 paise per share. This deal values the company, Glenmark Life Sciences, at 7,535 crore rupees. In fact, talking about that deal, the chairman and managing director of Glenmark, Glenn Saldana, has said that this deal will help both the companies achieve long-term goals. Let's get further perspective on this. Uh, my colleague Srishti Sharma is joining us along with Anurag Joshi. Do tell us, as far as uh, this entire deal, what are the details that we have on the deal so far, Srishti? So the deal is finally through where in Glenmark Life Sciences have got a new promoters where Nirma has agreed to go ahead and purchase 75% stake in the company at a share price of 615 rupees a piece. That's actually at a 3% discount. But this is going to be a key positive for Glenmark Pharma. Why? So because they are saying that post this deal, the money will be utilized majorly for their debt repayments. And post this transaction, their balance sheet will actually be net cash positive. And this deal is interesting. Why? So because for the next five financial years, both the companies Companies have agreed for a non-compete uh, agreement that says that because Glenmark Life Sciences, if we see the contribution, then Glenmark Pharma used to give around 34% of their overall revenues in terms of the business. So going for the next five years, this is likely to continue under the new supply agreements between the both companies. So that's interesting to see. Other than that, the company also says from Glenmark Pharma perspective that they're going to be focusing on their key therapies. And key to note is that Nirma's experience in the pharma space because they are not new in this space they have been on the uh, expansion spree they also have a wholly owned subsidy name AccuLife Healthcare other than that they have recently uh, gone ahead and buy out a pharma name called uh, Stericon Pharma and in terms of the Glenmark Life Sciences guidance that has also been on the positive stance because they have guided for a mid-team growth and a stable with the margin for FY24 the expansion plans have been underway so all in all a good one coming in for Glenmark Pharma because they have have uh, told that they're going to be going ahead and um, making the stake sale. So 75% is what they have agreed upon. Open offer yet to be awaited from Nirma. So that's the interesting and uh, focus on both of these companies. Thanks for that, Srishti. That uh, helps uh, understand exactly how the stake sale is going to work out. Anurag, uh, do tell us what we heard from the management. Uh, and uh, from the management so far, like I was telling our viewers, uh, they have gone ahead and said that this is going to be a positive uh, for both the companies. Uh, tell us what exactly we heard and if you can help put that in context as well. Yeah, so one of the key takeaway from the management's interaction with the media, which is still going on, is has been that uh, Glenmark Pharma will become a net cash positive company after this transaction. Uh, this is because uh, the transaction uh, inflows uh, of over 5,000 crores into the company will be used to repay the debt. The gross debt is 4,600 uh, crore rupees. That's according to Glenn Saldana. Uh, so uh, the company will become debt free following this transaction. Uh, and one of the key uh, reasons why uh, Glenmark Pharma decided to sell its stake uh, in uh, Glenmark uh, Life Sciences, uh, according to Saldana, has been that uh, the businesses, the, both the businesses uh, had become increasingly divergent and uh, the U.S. generics uh, drug market, you know, where uh, Glenmark uh, Life Sciences competes, it's become super competitive uh, at the moment. Uh, now, uh, to give you a little background about this deal, uh, this was a hotly contested transaction uh, in uh, for at least six months and um Initially, there were at least six serious contenders, uh, including uh, led by private equity players who were looking to buy Glenmark Life, uh, Glenmark Life Sciences. Uh, eventually, the race uh, had uh, narrowed down to uh, three players uh, that were Nirma, uh, Segment Pharma Ventures, which is backed by a private equity company, PAG, and uh, Chris Capital uh, moved in later in the transaction. And uh, Nirma has emerged as a winner.
Yes, indeed, uh, they certainly have. Thanks for uh, helping us understand what uh, the management is saying and what it really means. In fact, uh, thanks, Anurag. Thank you, Srishti, for uh, joining us. But uh, the word coming in from the management is this. Uh, this is what we got earlier this evening from Glenn Saldana himself, the chairman, the chairman and managing director of uh, Glenmark. The purpose of doing this transaction was purely because of divergent business models, right? I mean, GPL going in a particular, in a different direction, right, which is more to move off the value chain and develop a branded business. And GLS going into scaling APIs and, and developing a CDMO model. So divergent business models is what drove us to, to look at this transaction, right? Um, so that's the first point. The second point is, um, you know, clearly if you look at, um, you know, the way forward, a strategic partner is always preferable. Right? Because they bring a lot of stability, they bring a lot of growth. Um, their their outlook is more to grow the business as opposed to squeeze out costs, right? Uh, and it's much more longer term, right? So strategic partners are always preferable. They take a long term view on the business. They are growth oriented. They are um, you know employee oriented. So always preferable compared to uh, private equity, right? I mean that's just our view. So from that perspective, Nirma was a perfect uh, fit right, for, for this transaction. Right. So that's the information that we have about uh, the stake sale by Glenmark Pharma in Glenmark Life Sciences. And we'll see exactly how this pans out going ahead.